the day, you feel me? So when I went up there, then I, my cousins up there, because I got family up there too, you know what I'm saying? I was living out there, you feel me? So my them folks be blowing down up there too. So I got up there, I started smoking even more, you know what I mean? So my, I just, like December 23rd, I had been telling myself for like the past year or two, like, man, I'ma stop smoking, man. You feel me? Because I've been having so many changes in my life. When I, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I started doing real estate at 25 years old, bro, like, real time. Nah, I went 25. How old was I? Let me see. Man, I was, what, 20, about, no, nah, about 27, because I've been doing real estate. Let me see, 34, 33, 32. I started in 2016. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's six years ago. So when I was 28, you know what I'm saying? Like when I first started doing real estate, 27, 28. So, uh, but when I learned about, because yeah, I was, I was in Baltimore at 25. But uh, man, when I learned what it takes to be a real entrepreneur and to do real estate, you know what I mean? That's what really, you know what I'm saying? Ignited something in my head, my brain to be like, you know, if you really want to do something, it don't take no New Year's resolution. It don't take no, sometimes it does take a, you know, a dramatic event, but it don't take that. It takes for you to make up your mind, like real talk. If you want to stop something, make up your mind and do it. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? Like, I knew that. And I used to tell myself, like, when I first started doing real estate, I had stopped. You feel me? Like, real talk, because I knew what it was going to take to do real estate. And I was dedicated to doing real estate. I want not plan, like, in the beginning, when I first started doing real estate, dog, I'm talking about I quit my job making $19 an hour at a hospital, bro. Back then, minimum wage in Memphis, $7.25. People were still making $9, $10. Now a lot of people make $15. Bro, I was making $19, 2016. You know what I'm saying? 2017, bro. It wasn't nothing. I quit so I could make a $1,000 check from real estate, but it went on up. Trust me, it went, went crazy. And I'm glad that I did it, but I learned a lot from it. And I had stopped smoking a little bit, but I, my, my partner, I started doing real estate in Baltimore. That's when I learned about it and started doing it. But when I got back there and I had made up my mind, when I was on my way back, I was like, I ain't gonna smoke no more. But when I got back, my partner that I had started doing real estate with down here, he would smoke. So, and we would smoke, man, we were smoking loud. I'm talking about, this was before Zaza and all this stuff, these folk got nine folk. Now, bro, we were smoking straight loud, $30 a gram. Boy, we would come, man, we were buying. Man, I'm telling you, man, pulling up on the track, nigga, we got thousands in our pocket. We spending plenty on bug, riding around in Lexus, smoking, riding around BMW, smoking big blunts, you know what I'm saying? We ain't want big blunts, we gram in a blunt or whatever, but, we smoke them all like this. Hey, we had we smoke two blunts before we pull up to a bar, to a, to, a, to a closing. You know what I'm saying? It started getting crazy. We blowing down, blowing down. It real talk. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? But I had, I had stopped smoking a little bit then too. But like I said, man, that's a lot of smoking. You feel me? And to, to do something new in life, you got to give up the past, bro. You got to change your life. I learned that with real estate. I had to literally change my life the way I think. All I knew was the, the trap, robbing, you know what I'm saying? Typical stuff for hood dude. No, you know what I'm saying? That's all I knew. Sell dope or raw. Sell dope or raw. That's what I grew up doing. That's all I knew. You feel me? That's all I knew. I knew in the back of my mind, man, I want to do, I want to open up me a business. So I was doing my music, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But I wasn't I want treating it like no business for real. You know what I'm saying? I was straight. Sell dope rob, sell dope rob. And I was getting locked up and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? I, I'd be gone. You feel me? Like, I, pro I probably would be doing some real time. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't change my life. But real estate and listening to all them uh, 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 books, like the, the, the main book I was listening to is uh, The Law of Attraction, Napoleon, uh, Napoleon Hill. I used to listen to that every single day in the beginning, bro. I promise. Mine, 2015, that's all I listened to in Baltimore. Mine kept earphones on 24-7, on the plane like this. Got to Memphis, mine in my car, I had the music up. Just like I'm bumping, like rap music, you know how nigga had the music up, banging in the trunk? I'm banging Napoleon Hill, riding in the hood. It didn't matter, that's how I trained my subconscious, and that's why I am the way I am now. And 
I'm talking about, bruh, it was, I knew, like, that's the only way that you can really go to the next level in life, you feel me? And I've been dealing with this real estate for a minute, and yeah, I make my money or whatever, but I'm ready, I was ready for a real life change, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot they come with smoking, you feel me? Like, I don't take nothing from nobody who smoke, man, I still, man, my kinfolk still smoke, cousin smoke, brother smoke, I don't care, you feel me? People... People who smoke that didn't smoke when I was in high school. You feel me? Like, I smoked because I wanted to smoke. I was rebellious. It was a way to rebel for me. I was always bad. You ask anybody I went to high school with. Fighting, suspensions, throwing stuff at teachers. Man, jumping folks. Girls in the bathroom. Man, all sorts of stuff. That was me. That's how I was in high school. So, smoking was something rebellious. It wasn't cool. It wasn't to fit in. Because we didn't fit in from smoking. Like, people looked at us like, man, you smoking, bro. What you smoking? We in school. We in high school. You smoking. You doing drugs. You feel me? It was cool. I didn't care. You feel me? My, my, I, I model, I, I model with slap. Smelling like a pan. Everywhere we go, we smell like a pan. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, bro. And I was in high school doing it. And, and mine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm grown now, and I feel like it's childish to be constantly doing the same thing over and over. Like, if that's what you want to do, do it. You feel me? But I feel like, man, bro, I've been, I've been, I was smoking for so long. Like, bro, what? Why am I still smoking? And I'm 30 plus. You feel me? Like, why? That it's stupid. You feel me? It, it, it dumb. Like, why would you still be doing? How do you expect? How do I expect to go to the next level in my life if I'm still smoking? I had to cut the job out to learn about business. You feel me? That was the only way I was able to learn about business. Now, I don't need a job. I I play it. I, I, I play at things. You know what I'm saying? I find things to occupy my time. You know what I'm saying? But you have to, you can't be doing the same thing. That's how I feel. I'm like, bro, I'm not, why am I still, this shit childish. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's childish. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what, man? I'm I'm through smoking, bro. Why smoke? I'm not finna keep doing the same thing I was doing when I was 15, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, not I'm talking about, and I'ma tell you, like I said, it didn't I stopped then. Today is what? The 24th. So it's 31 days. 31 days now. And I I'ma tell you exactly mine what it did to me. You feel me? Like my, at first, I'm talking about when I was trying to start smoking, right? Boom. I'm like, I'd be like, man, I ain't gonna smoke tomorrow. I didn't smoke three grams, because I usually smoke about three, four grams a day. So I'm like, I smoke. Be like, all right, I ain't gonna smoke tomorrow. But then tomorrow, I smoke. I'd be like, damn, I addicted? That's what really started, you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I'm like, damn, I addicted? You know what I'm saying? Damn, I a junkie for weed? Is this is this the definition of a pothead? Damn, because I'm I'm saying I want to stop smoking, but then boom, the next day I'm smoking a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Or let's just say I'm like, all right, I'm gonna stop smoking, right? Boom, next day, my a partner hit me, hey bro, pull up, boy, I pull up, we smoke 15 blunts. Mine, one of my shouted, hey, 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 we woo do woo woo, boom, smoke 20 blunts. Man, hey, hey, pull up on OG. You know what I'm saying? I go to the hood, pull up on OG. 50 blunts. I'm not I'm not exaggerating, bro. This is how we smoke, man. Smoke eyes tight. Nigga just looking dumb by the face. Cause we too high. You know what I'm saying? Too high. And I'm talking about, bro, for be like it ain't no gateway drug. Man, trust me, bro. In the beginning, I didn't even drink. I didn't drink, bro. I didn't drink no damn. I didn't drink beers in high school. I didn't drink. I didn't drink, bro. Even when I got out of high, even when I got out of high school, I was grown, bro. I wasn't drinking like that. Smoking. Next thing you know, I'm drinking. You feel me? Then you know, boom. Back then, Gucci came out. Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Shit, I was. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, let me try that. Boom. Popped a couple of pills. I ain't keep popping pills, but I did pop a few pills. You feel me? Bar juices came out. Bro, I wrecked the beans on the bar juice. <laughs> Popping them junks. You know what I'm saying? Eating them. You feel me? Like, but folks say it ain't no gateway. Bro, it is, bro. It is because, man, look at, my look, bro, I'm telling you, it is, bro. I'm telling you. 
But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's a gateway to crack. You feel me? Because you can still consciously think when you smoke. So you know what I'm saying? Unless you want to be a crackhead, like, you ain't going to be too quick to smoke no crack. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Unless you just want to experience with, with stuff like that. But I'm telling you, bro, even drinking lean. Man, even drinking lean, bro. I'm telling you, I used to drink the lean with the blunts. Man, you know how bad that is on your body? I'm smoking blunts, drinking lean, drinking alcohol, nigga get tired, drink an energy drink. This is how I live, man. I'm telling you. This how more folk be living who be on their weed and they drink. I'm telling you, bro. Why you think the why you think energy drinks popping, bro? It's popping because nigga be too high. Nigga be too high and ain't got no choice. Cause you don't want to fall asleep. Especially if you you trapping, you trying to handle some beating and get some money. You nodding, you. That's how you be. You. You feel me? You gonna have to get an energy drink. You down in there, man. Your heart. Beating like a mom. That what folks don't understand. So, man, when I stopped, I promise, bro. Man, I'm talking about, and it it took the whole thirty days, and I'm st I still feel it. Man, I feel like I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to clean my system for a year, bro. Real talk to get it to get it out of my DNA. I feel like, bro, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to uh uh not smoke none I, none this year. Real talk, bro. Like, I don't plan on smoking again till I retire 60 years old or something. But I'm telling you, bro. Like, my, I, I'm telling you, bro. All right. If you, if, when you stop smoking cigarettes, right, you can feel different changes in your body. If you've been smoking for a long time, then a lot of folks just go right back to it. It's the same way with Bud, bro. They just came out with raw cones, all that. Nigga was smoking blunts. Been smoking that tobacco stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot that was really going on in my body that I didn't even understand. You feel me?